the way the way I see it though, yeah, it's right. like whilst the internet is a good thing and streaming is all good, it's like how are you gonna have, imagine all the songs that you love, yeah? Yeah. Imagine Spotify and all that goes down and disappears. Yes. You can't listen to your favorite tune no more. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. Well, a lot of these people don't realize that if you're using these distribution companies, mm. your music only stays up for the year you've paid for yeah, it. Well. Exactly. And yeah, exactly. And then it disappears off yeah, if you don't yeah. pay. So imagine it's, in yeah. ten years' time when you you know got wife, kids, and yeah. white picket fence and yeah. everything, your music just <laughs> disappears. You know what I mean? I think with the digital thing, it's like yeah, still keep it digital, but just yeah. download a tune in it so you keep it, so you've got the MP3, so you know. This is the Word Life Show on Ujima Radio. Hypnotize. Careful what they tell you. Mad. That's great advice right there, you know. Yeah, man. Hey, so. Yes, yeah, yes. Big up everyone who's uh, well, watching this online. If you've been listening on the radio, hey, thanks for tuning in. It's the Word Life Show every Tuesday, 8 till 10, hosted by myself. And I have been joined by a Bristol legend. We have Jinx to JX in the building! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Too kind, sir, too kind. Come on, I'd, I'd be doing you a disservice if I didn't, you know? Like, no, respect. Bro, you've been putting it down in Bristol for uh, many moons, man. Yeah. Many, 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 many moons. I'm not trying to make you sound old. <laughs> nah, that's yeah. cool, bro, I'll take it, still got man. that baby face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't age, fam. Yeah, man. Yeah, I have to, I have to shave off my grades and stuff, man. Don't <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, no, big, big no, up to you, bro. Respect. Um, bro, I mean, I'd, it's an honour to have you back on the show. Thanks, I can't man. believe we just went to, it's nearly been five years, bro. Yeah. Yeah, bro, 2019, wow. I believe, last time. Yeah, wow. just like, before COVID and all that, that really. Madness. I think it was that summer, innit? Run up, I think. Yeah, run up, bro, but yeah, it's just... Crazy, man. Yeah, Nuts. man. Well, it's good to have you back, bro. Yeah, man. You know I mean? Now, um, I'm guessing a lot of the people who um, are watching the show now might be a different audience yeah, exactly. from who it was back then uh, the videos come out on a different YouTube channel now okay. uh, so we don't deal with that one no more and it's all on the Real Life channel so I'm going to start from the beginning yeah yeah from man scratch, yeah of course yeah. of course. right Jinx to JX yeah. you were born you're here now what happened yeah. in between for <laughs> <laughs> a lot of stuff <laughs> nah but pretty much um, long story short ish is so I'm from Hawfield started doing a bit of music out there started like rapping and thing you know I was doing a lot of clashing on road and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. took it a bit serious then did all right with the clashing team. Yeah, you was always you know doing I mean? sticking the dump, Professor yeah. Green's like some real big names out here, bro. Uh, yeah, I kind of got pushed into it, like in a good way. What like, was your first clash ever? Uh, ever, ever. It was at, if you want to talk like proper battles, it would have been at Fekla. Basically, what happened is one of my brethren, he knew someone who was battling. Yeah. And then he used to, and then this guy said to him, he goes, oh, get your brethren involved if he raps. So, yeah. it, was, so it was a jump off competition. But okay, yeah, these signs, I didn't yeah. know about all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he went, it was at Fekla. So went there, ended up winning the whole competition. Come on, my dog. Yeah, yeah. And then from that, and it, all I knew is like, Cause that event was sponsored by Nokia, and all I knew is, is like the winner gets a brand new phone. So I was just my gas. god, a new Nokia in '95. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, and I, I bet it's still indestructible now, isn't it? Somewhere, yeah, I guarantee it. <laughs> I just need a charger for it. Yeah. But, then, um, right, okay. but then I didn't even realise it's from that, that I then had to go represent Bristol or the Southwest in the uh, national finals of it Jeez. which is why Battle Pro Green which I mentioned I mean, in that track that's a and, big audience, and that was at Prince's Trust Urban Music Festival yeah. which was like 15,000 people that's Earl's it. Court I'm like 14 years old you get me oh like, 14 as well yeah, okay. I, was, I was doing my sats and thing them time yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah they didn't even do sats no more, do you know what I mean I didn't even yeah, know no, bro. Yeah, but yeah, yeah so right. did that but then yeah I wasn't really feeling the battle thing I was like nah this ain't me man I want to get into the artist you know yeah yeah doing yeah. that but then whilst I was doing that I was you know set up my own studio at my yard basically and right. I get into the more mixing master and recording yes so yeah. since then man I don't know uh, yeah I mean I've been in a few crews at like HFC we had 10 to 7 yeah yeah HFC come you on 10 me, to yeah. 7 yeah. yeah man all the man them you know yeah, what I yeah, mean big up everyone and all of them Fear of the Beast yeah, yeah Fear of the Beast, beast Swizzy, yeah. yeah man throughout the years obviously we're all, everyone's still brethren and whatnot, so we're still right. active and, yes. in their own ways but yeah, yeah man well, but still on it, on it. On like, it, on I've it. heard those music, uh, the music, the songs. Music, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've heard those music, yeah. the good music. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's good music. <laughs> really. Now, um, bangers, bro. Respect, and, um, respect. Yeah. Now you played um, songs, uh, some unreleased ones. Yeah, yeah. Now the. Um, as you say, even the man they haven't really heard. You know, no, what I mean, yeah, yeah. that fresh. That's from an upcoming project. Yeah, yeah. Um, now I know you haven't got a date set or anything, no. but basically, Jinx is not done. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Twenty twenty four though. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. I'm, I've I made a point this year. Cause last couple of years, especially. I've been doing a lot of mixing and mastering for other people, which yeah. I enjoy. Yeah. Which What's I love. your studio called then? Uh, Do you have like a nah, name for it? Is it just Jinx or JX Studio? Yeah, like um, I, yeah, it's not really. I haven't even got a name for it yet. It's, okay. it's just out like my yard, isn't it? So yeah, yeah, like JX is lab, I guess. But okay, yeah, man, they did now. There we okay. go. Yeah. But um, 
so we, you know i enjoy doing that but at the same time that's taken away from being able to record and obviously the artist yeah. side of it it's a whole different head game in it so i think yeah it's it's, it's a makes you sharpen your still a bit yeah yeah because yeah, mixing sure. other people is not the same as mixing yourself no, isn't yeah, it? so yeah, you exactly, get to yeah, i mean exactly. uh, yeah gives um, you different perspective and up the skill set and whatnot but then it's also like sitting in front of a computer for so long yeah so when it's time to do my thing i, I don't really want to be doing that yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. this year so yeah to answer your question i'm going to be dropping a lot more music this year okay i'm either going to do this tune just drop them out drop them drop them might do some mixtapes here and there yeah uh, yeah i'm back back active again what basically. do you think of how the game's changed since you started then um it's good and but i mean there's ups, ups and downs man depends how you look at it i think it's real good in terms of i think obviously internet's blown up a lot more like to give a bit of context when i when i started out internet thing was around a bit but it's more like myspace and whatnot yeah, yeah so obviously yeah. streaming wasn't a thing wait 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 when you started hang on hang on when it, started, myspace was after that you <laughs> yeah no you're <laughs> right no you are right this is true yeah, yeah. that's actually true you know yeah for that'd real that'd be doing you a disservice if yeah, I didn't yeah, mention no, the DVDs right. and stuff yeah, that you were all over bro that's so, very true that's very yeah, true yeah, who you repping who you repping yeah. the yeah. FU and yeah, them yeah. ones yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but um yeah. So yeah, how I think it's changed. Uh, I think overall it's better because there's more access for people to get involved. And I think now the general public are probably more open. They got more avenues to tap into it. Yeah. I think as if you want to talk about right now, recently, then I think it's kind of shifting a little bit. Like the streaming thing is going a bit sour. Do you know what I mean? And I think, I think we need to get back more to going direct to the artists. Like obviously streaming and that's good to list consume music, but right. in terms of actually supporting artists. Yeah, you know, you want to be still. You still want to get your physical media. You still want to get a CD or a, a pay for a release. So let me ask you this: Do yeah, you yeah. still play CDs? I do. You do. I do. Okay. I do. I still buy CDs. Yeah. I know, but again, yeah. I do appreciate a lot of people don't. Yeah, this is the problem. This is is cars to come out now? They yeah. haven't got a, a CD player. Yeah, true. Laptops you know I mean? as well hardly come with them no more. MacBooks don't have them. Yeah, yeah, buy a two hundred pound yeah. CD from now for the The only thing is the way the way I see it though. Yeah, it's like whilst the internet is a good thing. And streaming is all good. It's like, how are you gonna have, imagine all the songs that you love, yeah? Yeah. Imagine Spotify and all that goes down and disappears. Yes. You can't listen to your favorite tune no more. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. Well, a lot of these people don't realize that if you're using these distribution companies, mm. your music only stays up for the year you've paid for yeah, it. Well. Exactly. And yeah, exactly. And then it disappears off yeah, if you don't yeah. pay. So imagine it's, in yeah. 10 years' time when you, you know, got a wife, kids, and yeah. white picket fence and yeah. everything, your music just bloop, disappears. You know what I mean? I think with the digital thing, it's like, yeah, still keep it digital, but just yeah. download a tune in it so you keep it. So you've got the MP3. So you know what I mean? Where you buy that on iTunes or you get that from the artist directly which I reckon is the best way yeah. Bandcamp or otherwise yeah then yeah so you think um, with the streamer thing it's gone sour then um, obviously bit. do you think that's because of the, the small amount they're paying um, yeah I don't know that. yeah I mean it could be that but then I also just think where you know how they do the thing now where you know the um, what count it counts towards the charts, which makes sense since that's the main way it's consumed. I think that's just then obviously pushed bigger labels or even smaller artists to try and fabricate. Uh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? To find it's all fraudulent. Yeah. 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 What do you think about the whole buying views phenomenon? <sighs> I just don't get it. I don't get it. It's like, yeah. I mean, unless you, if you if you're gonna make money off it, then I guess. But Once I, you but buy you, a view, but you can't not monetize your. But this is it, isn't it? Lost your, yeah, your, any chance exactly. of getting money? It's like you you got you got to have that genuine support, man. It's like it doesn't matter how many you could have a million views, a hundred thousand, even a thousand fake views. But like it's nothing, man. You need that. You need that core actual people who are gonna support your thing. Yeah. Like I guarantee, like I made more more money off certain releases with like F all views yeah. or plays, but those are genuine they're, people. They're, they're, they're genuine people. people, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're gonna get people who are gonna give you a five or a tenner. Yeah. Get a hundred people, that's right. There you go, bam. Yeah. So instead of buying views, what would you say to people as a good way to promote your music as a musician who's been doing music for a long time? Mm, that's a good question. Cause what's the alternative? Cause to, before to jumping on the bandwagon. Yeah, because I mean I would say, you know, it was like before visual content yeah and that is still got a part to play but again i don't think youtube videos are as popular as they are as they once were like a few years ago no, no, you can you have got obviously what i would probably say is it's just invest in your craft man invest in what you like you can either do uh, advertising and branding marketing and whatnot that's got a good side of it but i yes. think you're probably better off doing it in stuff like artwork or you know, promo shoots or just invest in your own equipment, your setup, you know what I mean? Invest in yourself more yeah, so more, more so than your... Pay for sponsored 
view, um, posts rather than the buy and views posts. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Advertise. Yeah, advertise. Advertise yeah. your thing and and drive traffic to you. Yeah, you know what I mean. So it's and good merch. to jump you on. Always up. add merch. Always it? add merch. Merch yeah. is very good. Yeah, it's a good way to mark up. Yeah. You know, you do little cheat codes. You could put up things. For, you know, depending on who you do your printing and what and what with. You know, you could put up pre-orders. So you get pre-orders. Use that money then to actually. Do, that's you, the do, right there, you know? do your that's, merch yes yes do you know what I mean and then yeah. you do you know what I mean so you're technically not actually putting your own money up front but so you're getting gems now yeah yeah man you got to share yeah. the gems man bro this is why I asked you, that, you know? get, yeah, there's a lot of younger gems. people that are watching this channel now you know that we work with that need knowledge from, from yeah. a, a mind like yourself that's been putting in but honestly right time is of the essence we haven't got okay. too much time left yeah, in the man. interview and bro me and you could talk for long for real I need to get you back on another time yeah so. yeah, yeah yeah we will but Tapping. Can you let them know where they can find your music online? Yeah, so I'm on streaming and obviously everything. Jinx the JX. Yes. Um, I'm g just gonna say I got an album, one of my albums on there. I'm actually gonna be taking down and re-uploading soon because I switched distributors. Okay. But I'm actually gonna remaster it and add some new tracks to it. Okay. But yeah, check me out. Instagram is probably where I'm most active. That's Jinx the JX. I'm Jinx the JX on everything. And um, Bandcamp as well is where you can get all my music for free. Hey, come you can on. Pay if you want to pay, but it's there for free. It's there. Uh, okay, okay, I love and that. You, and you keep it for life. Yeah. Until uh, you, until you delete it yeah yeah so download the files yeah. because spotify won't be there forever so yeah, yeah exactly. that's real you know honestly yeah, like man. you look back at certain things that we had back in the day just Bro, don't yeah. exist anymore yeah. thought my space would be here forever man do you know what i mean i thought bebo was gonna be here forever all right <laughs> <laughs> bebo right yeah now honestly share the love yeah share yeah. the love <laughs> Bro, it's been uh on the avenue come through Respect, we're gonna man. do some adverts and stuff and yeah. then we're gonna go into the live performance all part right, of the show all right this. so i'm gonna get into it let's go Respect. <laughs> 